Hey, what's up, guys? The Clicks here again. Hope you're doing good today. I bet you didn't expect to hear those words today, did you? But here I am back again. It's been like four to five months of absence. I don't want to get into that. Um, I was going to make a 10 year anniversary special earlier this uh, week, I think on the 13th to be exact, because that is the exact 10 year anniversary day. Now that has passed since about a week ago. Um, can't do anything about that, but I can make a postponed 10 year anniversary video where I answer your questions and talk about why I've been absent and, you know, speak about life in general and how it's been during these past 10 years. Thought I'd make something special out of it. I'm not very good with special videos. I don't take this too seriously. Uh, I just like to pump out the content that you guys come here for. And that's kind of what I chose to come back with. And today's no regular video, right? This is very special. Now, you guys have seen some Gates of Hell content on YouTube from a variety of content creators. I myself did a few live streams uh, about a week ago as well. This is the world premiere, world first exclusive GEM editor battle in Gates of Hell. That's right. I got the editor, boys. I got the fucking editor, right? So we're going to make some, we're going to cook up some really good stuff. But you know, to, to get started, I wanted to warm up with something casual, something nice, explosive, moderately, you know, moderately pretentious, nothing too complex, okay? We're gonna get into that later. I think a simple but entertaining battle is the best way to really show the game, right? Like, just keep it casual at a start. I just wanted to make sure I still know the editor, and I do, so that's good. We're gonna make more complex things later, but we're just enjoying a nice river assault We've got a variety of weaponry. We've got uh, a Soviet platoon here supported by a T-26 attacking across this frozen river crossing. Um, on the opposite side, we have about a half-strength platoon of German infantry with some static weapons as support. We have an MG-34 on a nice tripod. I want you guys to pay attention to the infantry animation later. We have a, um, a 75mm uh, mountain gun on skis. That's a ski gun right now. And a variety of infantry and, and uh, weaponry. So um, I'm going to kind of like showcase new animations, graphics, visuals, um, and a bunch of new like features as well. Uh, I'm going to do my best, right? But I might get lost in the battle and all the, the bloodshed. So might get carried away. Uh, there's a lot of trees here too. So we're going to have to get down below uh, the, the treetops and watch the infantry close. I think that's going to be very entertaining. So that's the first part of this battle. Uh, coming up after that, we have another fight uh, evolving up here by this logistics point where we have some other weapons at play. We also have some officers. This guy's just like, oh, the snow is very dry today. Very cool. I like that. Some cool new idle animations. We have a Panzer 35 here, um, a German one. Just, just, I just want to showcase this, guys. Come on. Come on. Listen to this. Oh, I love the startup of engines and stuff. I want you guys to pay attention to the tread animations too. They're pretty fantastic. So, guys, without further ado, let's focus on this battle down here first. Then we're going to move up to the other one. So that's going to showcase a variety of different types of combat environments as well. One big charge across an open field, and this one's going to be special. You know, with some trees as cover and moving up into the buildings. So we have Germans a little bit here and there. Uh, I will give you guys a quick look at the minimap before we get started. Uh, Germans in red right now and the Soviets in blue. All right, guys, without further ado, let's go ahead and click start. And of course, this wouldn't be a true deflex heated editor battle without disabled HUD. So here we go. Let's pay attention to this T-26 and all the little wheels and things happening down here as it moves across different types of terrain. Very beautifully animated. So let's zoom out and get a good overview of the first shots. Some historic moments are about to occur now, guys. We're about to find the first casualty ever in a GEM editor battle on uh, Gates of Hell on YouTube. Who's it going to be? Could be the, the lad inside that house. Oh! Must have been one of the tank crewmen. Because that was a nasty direct hit by that uh, 75 mil. Yes, indeed. One man is down. He will remain buried inside the tank. All right, the infantry is moving up on either side. Oh, 
The sound design is something I mentioned in the, the live streams I did. It's just phenomenal. Oh! That's gonna kill two soldiers right there in the open. Oh, one's gonna get up, but one's gonna remain down. Look at that bolting. I love it. It's so cool. Soviet machine gunner here on the right side. Got a lot of troops coming up. Oh, direct hit from that 75 mil. Right, I saw a truck of German reinforcements arriving. Yeah, they're gonna unload right here by the road and spread out. Some fresh infantry. Oh, that is so awesome. So in future battles, I will probably increase the volume of the speech uh, from the soldiers on the ground. I think it's just a nice ambient feeling that it adds. But this guy's under a lot of fire right now. Oh. So in terms of HP, um, I'm using single player breeds right now. They might hold a little more HP than multiplayer breeds. So I'm, I'm going to have a look at that later on. I'm going to investigate to see what's the, the most realistic kind of breed. Two truckloads of Soviet infantry just arrived as well. Getting into some pretty nasty close quarter engagements right here now. Oh. Very cool indeed. So we have a few Soviets making their way up here on the right flank. This building is occupied by German by German troops. I think it might have been empty. Now there's one soldier inside. He's in the far back there firing through the window. Got a few Soviets crawling up now, taking it slow. Oh, that was awesome! Running out of the building, getting shot down like that. All right, guys, we're going to move away from here and continue watching that later. We're going to see how this battle here by the logistic point develops. Lots of Soviet infantry in the open. Ura! Oh! flying everywhere. A lot of ricochets as well. Missing. Oh, that's gonna be it. Let's see if the Soviet infantry here can deal with the uh, the tank at hand there, the Panzer 35. This AT rifleman seems to be busy firing at other targets. Reinforcements just arrived up here as well. Another truckload of German infantry. They're gonna try and hold the high ground. Pack 50 still standing. It's not a Pack 50, but it's a 50 mil. <laughs> Transport officer right here as well with his is that a Luger. Oh. Let's 
visually all the the, the effects and impacts are, are absolutely stunning can this AT rifleman actually knock out this tank so I'm gonna go ahead and select this guy hold up there we go and see if I can actually knock it out with some AP might be able to just do the trick not maybe not at this range maybe not shooting at the front but we're gonna find out oh well that was worth watching all right let's leave the combatants here for a while and let's move over to the other side where the fighting is still raging on soviets are now uh, are now sort of making their way closer onto the... They've cleared out their right flank. They've they've killed all the German defenders in the houses. Right now, they're moving up to knock out the uh, German machine gun and the Soviet left flank. We've got some grenades being thrown. Granade! Oh, shrapnel! Right to the torso. This Soviet attack seems to have been thwarted, as you say. In fact, they seem to be on the run, on the retreat. They're just being shot dead in the open. Oh, and killed where they lie. Let's watch this guy go down. Oh, <laughs> so cool. And remember, we're keeping him pretty low key with this battle. So just imagine things we can create, create moving on. MG still active. Look at them reloading it. The pair. Nice. We've got marksmen back there. Look at them. I think the added HP in this breed definitely... Um, makes for some more dynamic like longer battles but you know once again anything is modifiable in this game with an engine which makes it amazing so longer ranges and you know lower hp and all that stuff is something you can easily modify and add so but i definitely think that the, the, what i'm running right now definitely sort of makes for the best player experience granted as a spectator and editor uh, player, you can add a lot more troops to make up for that uh, higher lethality, one could say. So, you know, there's got to be a balance. Okay, that MG34 is still active. That has me a bit worried. Oh, just those, like, single rifle shots echoing out, followed by a nice, quick, swift bolt rifle animation you've got to love it troops are coming up close now MG pivoting to the left oh look at all the bullets hitting it's just so sick shall you say oh my god Now this is turning into just a completely different type of battle as things are quieting down. Okay. Let's have a look at how things are developing over here. Oh, look. So they cleared it out completely. We got troops out here just patrolling, looking for the... Looking for a variety of things, I suppose. Dead, survivors, hiding enemy soldiers, you name it. But now these guys... 
They might join in on this fight. We see troops coming back here. Let's form a little German hit squad here. Wait. I gotta make sure I select the right type. There we go. Those kids. Now the Soviets are about to receive company. Oh. Now the soldiers do actually fire their guns while running. It's more common with uh, submachine guns than it is rifles. And uh, of course it also depends on the soldier experience. But it's a nice feature. Throw that grenade. I know you want to throw it. Throw it. Okay, you were going to, and I want to give the people a show. The grenades are fantastic. Let's let's throw one. Let's hope that there's a soldier on the other side here. Okay, there's not. But it would make for a really nice death animation. We love him. You love him. Everyone loves him. Also, another thing is the torso animation, the torso rotation. Crouching or standing, they don't they don't change their whole body direction. They aim as the they aim and change um, their torso as you would in real life. It's just such a nice feature. I think the. Soviet counterattack has been thwarted. This is during the winter of 41. So we're outside Moscow somewhere. Let's just watch as these last couple of troops oh, provide some kind of resistance. There's no commissar to shoot them as they turn back. And that, to me... Sounds like a pretty lucrative ending to this. Let's get back in that truck and get the hell out. Look at that running animation. Look at him like, oh, moving left to right. But it wasn't enough. He was shot dead. Guys, thank you for watching this very first editor battle in Gates of Hell. I believe it is the world premiere, world's first, whatever. We've seen a lot of world first today, uh, and that's cool. We've been all, we've all been waiting for this game for a long time. It's a very nice. Um, it's very nice that it's here. It, it makes me very happy. And I have to say I'm very happy uh, and thankful that the developers have given me the ability to use the editor a bit ahead of time. Just to get to know it and create some of the content that you guys come here for. And that's why I chose not to spoil anything of the single player campaign. I want to leave that for you guys to be to enjoy. Yeah, the situation is stabilized. Alright guys, thank you for watching. Man, I forgot how to do an outro. Check out the link down below. Of course, that's going to take you to the Gates of Hell Steam page. And I'll see you guys soon again. Ciao.